Hello Tickies, it's time for a new video. I haven't made a video in like uh, half a year or something, maybe even more so. I thought I'd make a new one. About the new Samsung 950 Pro SSD which just came out. The NVM Express SSD which surprisingly um, is not so popular on YouTube right now as far as I know. People are saying that there aren't so many videos about it, so I thought I'd make a very quick video showing um, the startup speed or the boot up and my results of Crystal Diskmark. I'm using a Rampage 4 Extreme motherboard and it is bootable in UFI mode, of course. Windows 10 Home X 64 uh, bit. So I'm going to go ahead and restart. I might put a um, counter for you, but be aware that NVMe drives are not as quick as uh, SATA ones or HCI ones in boot up, but they shine mostly or they shine the most in uh, read writes and uh, a real time performance, copying files, writing and reading and, and software and everything. So, let's go ahead and restart. And we'll see, it only takes about 7 to 8 seconds to from uh, where it starts uh, loading Windows. So it's not that bad either. But NVMe drives are not known for their boot up time speed. But here you go, it is done. And as you could see there, my ESET antivirus starts as soon as the logo or as soon as the welcome screen disappears. That means that all, like anything that you'd want to load as soon as the window starts will load in zero seconds almost. So the response of this is just amazing. Let's see Chrome here whatever you want. It's just loaded instantly as soon as the welcome screen disappears. And let me show you my... Where is it? Here are the results. More crystal this mark. As you can see, we have a sequential, sequential Q32 T1, I don't know what that means, rate of uh, almost 2.3 gigabytes per second, and almost 1,000 or 1 gigabyte per second writes. And the 4K Q32 T1 we have 440 megabytes per second read and 300. As you can see, I don't need to tell you that you can just read that. But be aware that this test was run after I installed Windows, not before. And I'm pretty sure that 4K results, which are the last ones here, are affected by um, by Windows installation. So if you run it without Windows installed, then it'll be much higher, almost double. I'm pretty sure because I've tested with an 840 Pro Samsung with and without operating system, and the 4K results were much slower. But I'm not planning to benchmark again because, uh, as far as I'm concerned, it degrades the drive much faster. So one time was enough for me. And I thought I would show it. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed this quick video. And subscribe if you like my content. I'll try to make more content, if, especially if I get views and likes on this one. So, thank you.